Well, as Fenley said, this year's Oscar nominees received a rather handsome goodie bag. Some gifts included a $45,000 private African safari, a $14,500 four-night stay in Mon Monaco, and much more. But how does this benefit brands? Alexander Leibner has managed to secure the goodie bag for this year's South African Music Awards. Welcome, Alex. Ah, thanks, Jackie. <laughs> thanks for Take having me back. I think we did this last year. We did, And indeed. here we are again. And here we are again. So, what's different this year? Uh, well, not much. I think we're a DSTV decoder short, but uh, it's pretty much the same kind of brands, uh, similar kind of things. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm actually quite amazed. I was actually expecting no goodie bag or a very sort of watered down goodie bag given this the year. Well, given the recession, given the World Cup, you would have thought everyone's sort of focusing their money yeah. on, on those two months or that one month in, in, in mid-2010. But, you know, they've come out again and it's, you know, sort of cell phones and digital cameras and, and Heineken goodies and shoes again. Um, and it's a lot of them. I mean, it's, it's basically, I think it's about 120 odd of these packages that they're putting together to give to people. Well, then the sponsors are obviously seeing the benefit to doing these these goodie bags. And why would you think that is? Let's let's ask um, Andrew. Well, yeah, I uh, I'm a, I'm a, a goodie bag uh, fan, I have to say. So, uh, and in fact, uh, I cycle the uh, the um, Argus every year in Cape Town. And I was just thinking to to Alexander's point is that. Uh, this year, the the Argus goodie bag was this really weighty bag, and I, you know, and you always get the bag and you tear it open to see what's inside. And uh, and and I specifically remembered that last year it was a lot lighter. And I was thinking you could measure the economy by the weight of the the Argus goodie bag. And the fact True. that it was very heavy this year, I was thinking maybe that's a good sign for us that <laughs> we're on things the, are uh, looking up. We're on the up and up. And uh, but I certainly, I, I mean, I think from from a, from the brand's point of view, there's there's definite intrinsic value in the association that they have. So for the Psalmers, this is associating with key people, with the key brand, it's decision makers, it's like the tipping point environment. And to Alex's point with the World Cup, I'm looking at all these brands, maybe this is everybody that FIFA's not allowing anywhere <laughs> near <laughs> the World Cup. But if, if you look at, yeah. you look at this, True enough, yeah, probably. <laughs> if you look at the Vanners, aren't they all the different countries? Yeah, I suppose they are. I suppose it's sort of a, a way of getting into World Cup flavour without, without kind of infringing on anyone's sort of intellectual property uh, rights. But I mean, I think, Andrew, a very good point as well. I mean, it's, it's obviously a great opportunity to, to get people to sample your products. Mm. And also, I suppose, the whole ricochet effect of, of getting well-known people to be seen wearing your your top or jeans or whatever and somebody's saying hey maybe I should also get a pair of Ray-Bans or whatever the case is. So it's obviously a, a, a probably maybe a, a slightly sort of targeted maybe more cost effective way of, of marketing your brands mm. and I think I don't know Andrew if you meant receiving goodie bags you're a bigger fan than maybe handing them out but well I, I yeah <laughs> I, look, I'm, I'm definitely a big fan <laughs> of receiving them uh, <laughs> but uh, and handing them out I agree exactly to your point you know if you look at an, uh, any product's overall brand campaign, they have to say, okay, where are our touch points? And this mm. is one where it's, is a, it's targeted. So here you know exactly, you know, it's not really a shot in the dark in terms of who's going to have this. It's all, this is all going to be in terms of it's South African musicians, you know who's going to be take, taking your product, who's going to be, so they, in effect, are becoming a spokesperson for your brand, which for a brand, that's exactly what you want. We've got precedence in many ways. So we, for example, we are the only event, we, we run a 24 hour bus shuttle service for all our delegates in and around Cape Town for the whole duration of the, the festival weekend. And it's a fantastic service. We put up bus posts at all the hotels and you can every 15 minutes a bus comes past and we put on a full service and it's a huge precedent yeah. now we have that expectation people go where's the bus i sure. want a bus <laughs> where's the uh, bus so you can't so have no bus so the next you, year. you can't have it if you yeah. have an event you you have to put something on so yeah, you sure. so so we have to have chairs in the uh, yeah. in the award ceremony so, so we're going to have to what we're saying yeah. is you're either going to have to match it or you're going to have to better it year on year